Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of the Pick 6. I'm your host, Mike Wildshell at TCO Performance Center, ready to move on from last week's loss and get ready for these Rams on a short week. So let's get to work. Question number one comes from Nicholas. What the heck happened? Looking ahead to the Rams? That was an illustration of how to dominate all aspects of a football game. No doubt about it, you have to give the Bills credit for coming in here and playing well when no one thought they could. I think saying the Vikings overlooked the Bills is not giving the other team enough credit. Another thing that happened is the Bills started really fast. They scored a touchdown on their opening drive and they turned the Vikings over on the Vikings' first two drives. It's important in this league to start fast. Question number two comes from Scott in Florida. Do you think the Vikings' offensive line can pull it together quickly? They were manhandled big time at home. Yes, I do. In fact, we saw the Vikings offensive line play well in Green Bay. If you remember in the fourth quarter, the Vikings were past predictable, but they still protected Cousins and they wound up scoring 22 points in that quarter. So the Vikings offensive line has done it already this year. They just got to get back to that form. I think having Elf line back with a game under his belt will help, and Brian O'Neill will only get better the more he plays. The next question comes from Daniel in Hawaii. With our uncharacteristic performance against the Bills, how do we prepare against a dominating Rams team in a short week? Yes, a big task at hand for the Vikings. The Rams look like one of the best teams in the NFL, but here's how you do it. You have to learn from last week's loss because the flaws that were exposed by the Bills are going to be tested again by the Rams on Thursday night. Secondly, the Vikings played this Rams team, which is very similar to last year's team, last year at home. So you look back on that preparation and that tape as well. Bottom line though, the Vikings got to take care of themselves, look themselves in the mirror, fix the errors, and get back to playing Vikings football. The next question comes from Mike in South Dakota. What needs to be corrected before Thursday? if you can pick out a few things. Wouldn't it be nice to get back to running the ball with Dalvin Cook and Latavius Murray? That would take a lot of pressure off the offensive line and the pass protection. On defense, I think Coach Zimmer would like to fix some of the busted coverages. Too many wide open receivers in the last couple of games. And on special teams, gotta reduce those penalties. Lots of hidden yardage to be gained on special teams. Our next question comes from Brandon in St. Paul. You said this was the week the running game would get going. Far from it. Doesn't seem like this week will be the week either. Yeah, the Vikings only had four rushes by running backs in this game. What happened was they got down 17 to zero in a hurry and they had to go away from the running game. Hopefully that does not happen on Thursday. This Rams defense is really good and really physical and they've been giving up five yards per carry. It's so it's sort of an enigma. It'll be interesting to see if the Vikings can get that running game back on track this week against a good defense. Our final question comes from Randy in Apple Valley. One change from last year's Rams team to this year's is I see they swapped Sammy Watkins for Brandon Cooks. Is this an upgrade for them? Well, I think both Watkins and Cooks are good players, but we don't have to worry about Watkins this week. We have to worry about Cooks. What he's known for is being fast. He can also play outside or inside, so you gotta identify where he is on every single play. He's a big part of the challenge that the Vikings defense will face this week in Los Angeles. The good news is our secondary is pretty good. Excited to watch this matchup on Thursday night. That's it for this week's edition of the Pick 6. Remember, this week's game is on Thursday night, so watch the game and then send in your questions so you can be included in next week's edition of the Pick 6. In the meantime, make sure you download the Vikings app so all of our content can be delivered straight to your favorite mobile device. Enjoy the game. See you next week.